AITA for not forgiving my mother-in-law? Two years ago, we had our first baby. My mother-in-law would ask to take our daughter places every day. I explained to my husband that I wasn't comfortable with that because she was only a newborn. He said that he understood and would talk to his mother, but I don't think he ever did because she never stopped asking. Then, when my daughter was two weeks old, my husband said he was going to go to the store and would take his mother and our baby with him while I took a shower. This changed to him letting his mother go ahead of him and take our baby with her and he'd catch up, then he sat down and never went at all. He reassured me that everything would be fine, that his mother would come straight back. He urged me to go take a shower and relax and I trusted his word, so I did. I was in the shower for 45 minutes, when I came out, my mother-in-law was back and my husband was holding our baby. I didn't know what it was, but something seemed Amos so I asked if everything was okay, they both said everything was fine. The next day, my husband and I went for a walk with our baby. We ended up bumping into his sister and she said she loved the surprise visit from their mother, my mother-in-law, and our baby. I was baffled and assumed she had bumped into them at the store near our house. But she clarified that my mother-in-law had brought our baby over to her house for a surprise visit, my sister-in-law lives about 0.7 miles away from our house. I immediately demanded an explanation from my husband and asked if he knew about this and when he was going to tell me. He explained that he had already addressed the issue with his mother when it happened and he was planning on telling me when we returned from our walk. I couldn't speak and I could barely think, I was boiling with rage. All I could think was, how dare she? My husband apologized and begged me not to do anything rash. I said you let your mother do this and we're gonna hide it from me. When are you gonna pull your mother's boob out of your mouth and grow the up? He swore he was gonna tell me, but I didn't believe him and we returned home in silence. We all lived together and my mother-in-law was sitting on the couch, she asked how the walk went. I ignored her, picked up my daughter, stomped up the stairs to my bedroom and slammed the door shut and locked it too. I texted my husband that he could sleep on the couch or even better sleep in bed with his beloved mommy and to not talk to me unless it concerned our child. To avoid me and my anger he slept on the couch for several nights. I told him that his mother was never taking our daughter anywhere without one of us being there to supervise. And I warned him that, if he allowed this to happen again, he'll be single. And my mother-in-law never apologized to me. My husband says I need to let it go because his mother is deceased, but this still makes me so angry and I still can't forgive her.